Hello and welcome to this Visual Studio tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to use hotkeys, the visible function, and close. So first, if you have already not downloaded uh, Visual Studio, I recommend you download Visual C Sharp Express Edition, which I have a link to on the side of the page. So I need you to download, I mean open Win uh, File, New, and then Windows Application, and run it. So first I'll be showing you how to use hotkeys. Hotkeys are a way to select a button without using the mouse. Uh, so, and they show up at, with a line underneath them. So I want you to go to Toolbox and Label. So place the label, and now once it's placed, under the text, do Exit, but in front of the X, put an AND symbol. So as you see it uh, on the label, it comes up with um, E and then an underscore is under directly under the X and I will make the font bigger so you can see so you can see that there's an underscore under the X so if I was to run it and if this was a button uh, then if I did uh, push the X key then it would select the exit button and exit the process so since we're on the line of exit, I will show you how to make a project close by pushing a button. So I want you to place a button on the form, and double click on the button, and type this dot close, and then open parentheses and close parentheses and semicolon. It's a very simple line of code, and it can do a lot by being able to close your application without pu pushing the X in the corner. So it's this dot close open and close parentheses and semicolon. So if I was to run this application now, and now I will push the button, it'll close it. So it's a very simple function and it can help you. Now I'll show you how to use the visible function. It's a little bit trickier, but it is useful. So let's say, so I'll place another button, and now place two labels. So I want one label to say in the text, um, hello. And in the other one, I want it to say, um, hello again, for example. So I'll just make the font a little bigger. So now I have two text boxes that say hello. So this button really does nothing except for allow you to click it. So I double click on it and I make it say label one dot visible equal true and semicolon. So what it's saying is I actually need to set vi uh, that label one to invisible when I run it. So I go down, select it properties visible and make it false. Same with the second one. Uh, you'll still be able to see it on the form designer, but just not when you run it until you push the button. So what it's saying is it's saying when you push this button, it'll make label 1 reappear again. And so now I do label 2 dot visible equals true. So now when I run it, so as you can see, there is no uh, no labels on the screen but let's push button one and you got your two hellos so if I want to make it go away I can place another button and double click on the button and make label one dot visible equals false semicolon and label two dot visible equals false semicolon so now let's run it again and so you see labels are there again so if you press button one they appear and button two they disappear so that is the basic visible function you can do much more with it I've been able to make a Uf UFO game where they appear and you have to shoot them a uh, ghost game, uh, it's in my, one of my previous videos that you can check out on my YouTube page. 
and you can just do lots of it uh, using timers and visible and it's really fun so yeah just mess around with those and I'll have more videos coming later thank you goodbye